morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. As you can see it's another cloudy dismal day. Right now it's not too bad outside but apparently today's the day that our wicked storm is coming through. Um, we're supposed to get snow, freezing rain, um, high winds and temperatures in the minus 20s again plus the wind chill on top of that for the next four days I believe so it's going to be brutal and nasty so um, we're kind of in a lull with lambing right now and we're hoping that nobody lambs in the next four days um, because now that the this main barn is um, pretty well empty like it's we've only got a few sheep left to lamb so it's a lot colder uh, you know how i said we like to have about 150 sheep at least in there it keeps the temperatures up but right now we have about maybe 60 sheep in there so um any sheep in there are going to feel the temperature drop now adults have no problem whatsoever and the lambs that are on the ground now will have no problems at all it's just those little newborns we have to worry about so Everybody hope that we have no lambs in the next four days. Anyway, let's get inside and get started. So this morning we decided to get these creep areas set up for the very young lambs so that they can start poking around at feed because the feeders are dangerous if they try to eat in with moms. In the back pen with the Suffolk lambs we set up their creep area just now too. With, they got some hay in there and some creep feed but uh, I guess last night uh, you at the trough crushed one of the lambs. So uh, one of the mums lost a lamb. Really nice one too of course. So hopefully uh, with the creep area set up that will encourage the lambs to stay away from those feeders with the ewes because you would think they'd be careful around the lambs but it's like they're totally oblivious to them. They, they will, this one was actually stood on so they would have been eating, he would have been laying there, it looked like he was sleeping or something and they would just come stand on him and if he was struggling and stuff. They won't even they won't even figure out that um, there's something over there and they should maybe move away. Like these are the accidents you have with sheep, and this is why they are, <laughs> are meat animals. They they just really don't get it. Usually when you feed the ewes, the lambs start the races. Not always, obviously. Yes, that's Lucifer. That's He's gorgeous. 
And as you can see, Lucifer was black to begin with, but you can see his white wool shining through. That's my Lucifer. Yeah, I love him. I was afraid he was going to be gray underneath, but I can already see he's turning white. Oh, that's bright. Hi. 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 <laughs> He's not a pet. The practical world is because uh, he's never going to be too tall. That's right. Yeah, uh, he's. Uh, anybody will buy that. Everybody wants that too. Okay, we've caught Lucifer. We agree that so far this is our favorite ram in the group. Oh yes. Look at the lump on that guy. Oh. <laughs> Really great back end on them. I like everything about this ram. Spread his wool. I'm afraid of the gray fibers. Because he's very uh, black, eh? So this ewe is in the jug with her lamb. He's tagged. But this was a little itty bitty one again. Don't know what's with all the itty bitty ones this year. But um, he had a rough start, rough first few days. He didn't think he'd make it, but now he seems to be really good. He's just small. So he's in the jug here. But if you look in the rest of the barn, the jugs are empty. Just her. So it's been a long time since it's looked like this. It's not the end of lambing, but we had the rams in, we just left them in. And it's possible to even have lambs in May. So I'm looking at them and there's definitely some udders in there, some big ones and some little ones. So it's not the end of lambing, but it's definitely a break in lambing. So normally we have a group of 10 in this family group here. But right now we have, I believe, there's 15 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Maybe only 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, maybe only 13. That's counting sheep for you. It's making me feel tired. But uh, that's because we've taken the divider wall out, so there's more room. Plus, we've got that cold snap coming in. So we want to have these guys in here to help keep this barn warm so nothing freezes and if somebody does lamb it won't be too cold. So I'm just in here checking that everybody's okay. Hi, Hi who are you? You look nice. Scotty's drinking there. Oh, I know who this guy is. This is the guy with the mom with the big nipple. So he's he recognizes me as someone who can give him a bottle. Hi, buddies. Hi. You guys all look pretty good. There's a lot of you in here. So these are the girls we're waiting on. Still have to check them. And everyone's in their little separate spots here. Looking cozy. I think four of these have 
lost their lambs, so they don't count. So it's just the rest of them. And we still have a group of, I think there's 12 dorsets left in the other pen. So I think, I think we have maybe 40 left to lamb. Um, two, four, six. Might be less, might be more like 30. Hi girls, no, no lambs in the next few days, okay? And then get on with it. Can't wait forever. So that was just a short video today because um, it was so cold that we decided to, we've been doing some renovations in the kitchen and we decided that maybe we should get at it because it was literally walking around boxes and stuff in there. It was a nightmare. So we got some of the cupboards in and stuff and got that done. Anyway, it is brutally cold. The, that storm is coming in now and stay with us tomorrow. Hopefully it's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. <laughs>